Yeah, I think what I've noticed the most, and I think I experienced the most in my life was focusing less on less on my purpose and what I wanted to do with my life and first focusing on the inner work that I needed to do. So mm. I was really fierce about my personal work and spiritual work that I had to do. And then my purpose really was birthed out of that. It's my expression of me being in alignment. So when we have these people on our shows that have either found their purpose or are talking about it, they're really focused on being the best version of themselves. So that's getting good sleep, nourishing their body, mm -hmm. checking in on their relationships, having a spiritual practice, having a personal growth and development practice. And through that, you become this like aligned version of yourself that will attract or have the wherewithal to have clarity and create right. the life that you want to live. But all of us could really focus on that personal growth work, spiritual work, whatever, what have you, through the time that we are looking for our purpose. So I really think that that's the number one thing that people should really focus on because mm. that they can control. And then everything else will, will follow. Right. So in a sense, stop looking externally on like everything and, and just work internal. Yes. And the things yes. will come into your life. This book. Everything, so it. whether it's love, like friendships, yeah. relationships, it's been, you know, for me, I've seen when I do the work, my like this year has been so beautiful to see my friendships, the way that my friendships have evolved as I've done the work on my friendships and the relationships I have with women. When I focused it on relationships is when I found my fiance, when I focused it yeah. on, um, you know, my worth and my power is when I manifested my career. So if we focus on these areas and really becoming our best selves in those, the world will change or show up differently for us. I love that. I remember um, a conversation we had with Angela Manuel Davis, and she she spoke about purpose. We are born on purpose, in purpose, and for purpose. Hmm. And she was speaking more specifically just about, you know, being created by God, who like, you know, you are truly born in his likeness and in like in that perfect way. And I think for me, that just really landed because one, I, I do feel like as I evolve, like I kind of feel my purpose showing itself, revealing itself a little bit more. And it, it also can evolve and kind of like shift and show me different facets of what it is and what yeah. it wants to become. But just knowing that like, like I am the purpose too is like really powerful. We, I, I think people yeah. separate mm -hmm. ourselves from our purpose. We're like, but I haven't found my purpose. And it's like, wait, like you are the purpose. Like you and truly are the purpose. Well. And to Chris's point, it's like really, you know, being in touch with and um, just in awe of like your life, who you are, who you're becoming, like your your faults and the powerful parts of you, like just all aspects of you. Um, I think the more that you can love those parts of you, as cheesy as that sounds, like yeah, true, I though. think you can truly connect with the the core of what your purpose is. Yeah, I think an incredible thing someone once told me, and the guy who told it to me was Tony Robbins, of course. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, but for me, like I'm sure both of you had a point in your life where it was a strong pain of like, what's my purpose? That's, that's part of the reason I'm sure almost started, started in the podcast that you guys have now that is impacting millions of lives all over the world is it's like, once you go into a place so deep of why am I here? What's my purpose? You become on a massive purpose and passion to solve that question and to help other people get out of that place of pain. And one of the things Tony shared with me that just brought a sense of like relief is what if you had more than one purpose? And it's like, what if you could look at your life and maybe your purpose today was to be the best lover that you've ever been to your boyfriend or girlfriend. And like, that was your purpose in the day. And what if your purpose tomorrow was when you show up to work to be the best person you could and to make someone else smile there that day, right? And it's like, you always have, maybe some people's purpose is part of your purpose is you're a mother, you're a father, right? But it's like, what if we didn't just have one purpose in this world, but we actually just had a, a, a multiple amount of purposes? Love that. Yeah. And then it's like the presence. So it's like your purpose is presence because really you have to be present to whatever is needed in that moment and how you yeah. can show up best. And I think about that a lot too. And I think that's such a beautiful point where it's like, 
or purpose can be as simple as smiling at everyone we see in a day yeah. or giving someone like a long hug or like it, it doesn't need to be so profound where we're like my purpose is impacting millions of people all over the world it's like our purposes can be like i'm going to be a great mother the best mother i can be and i think we complicate them because of social media and because of there's so much comparison and especially for people that are coming out of college to feel like their purpose has to be like huge. exponential and huge and it doesn't it really needs to be it could be as small as like those tiny moments of presence yeah, there's a, a quick story that's kind of popping into my heart that changed, like like you said, like some days your purpose could be to add a smile to someone else's face and kind of a little bit about my background. I used to be this shy, quiet kid. And like, I was like, I'm never going to talk to a stranger. That's the scariest thing in the world. But I had a friend and he was the most charismatic social person. Like you'd walk around with him and you'd be like, Jesus, he's like talking to this other random person. But he shared a story with me and and you're just reminding me of it. It was the story of this kid that he was in high school and basically was just like a kid that got bullied all the time. And, you know, every single day he was kind of just like, man, this is like, this sucks. Like this is my life, but whatever. And so one day he's like walking home, he's got all his books in his hand and he's walking back to his house. And of course the bullies come knock the books all over the floor. And he's just like, yep, here it is again. Like, this is, this is my life. And this like jock person came over, helped him pick up the books um, and as he helped them pick up the books, they were like, Oh, we're both walking the same way. Well, let's like, you know, let's walk while we go home. And they started walking when they went home, they ended up becoming really good friends. They ended up becoming best friends. And I think it was 10 years later, they were at the jocks wedding and the kid that got bullied was his best man. And he was given his best man speech. And he said, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because the day you helped me that day, I was going home to kill myself. And it's like, you never know how just like having a conversation with a random person in a grocery store or on the sidewalk or like just saying, thank you so much. Have an incredible day. Like you could literally save someone's life. And like, what if that was just your purpose? Mm -hmm. And it's like, just like you're saying, it, it starts with being present like and really knowing that even the small little purposes you have are massive purposes that you have. 